You can reorder instruments and effects inside of the Reason Rack by holding Shift and dragging the instrument or effect wherever you would like it to go. If I hold Shift and drag this effect down, it will move and be rerouted into the position that I have selected it to go. You can change the order of the effects inside of that chain, or you can move that effect to a completely different instrument or a completely different effect chain altogether just by holding shift. Holding control while moving an effect will duplicate that effect. Holding shift and control while moving an effect will duplicate and reroute that effect. Holding shift and moving an effect will reroute that effect altogether to a new location. And if you want to duplicate an effect and reroute it to another instrument, then you hold shift and control together. It will duplicate the effect and it will route it accordingly. Speaking of holding shift, if you want to make precise adjustments inside of Reason, then you simply just need to hold shift and then it will make it very hard for you to be able to make adjustments to knobs and faders and levels inside of Reason simply by holding the shift key. If you hold shift while creating an instrument or effect, it will not be routed into anything. You also can just automatically route something by right clicking on the routing area and hitting route to new channel and you also can do it by clicking auto route device you can select multiple instruments and effects by clicking on an instrument holding shift and then clicking on another instrument to add in more instruments then you can delete them all or move them all or do whatever you would like for them to do the reason rack extends vertically but it also extends horizontally in reason 12 if you find yourself with a really long rack you can start to move some of those instruments over to horizontal racks by clicking and dragging and when you see this symbol appear you can let go and it will create another horizontal rack where you can then add more instruments and effects vertically speaking of that really long vertical rack if you want to open or close all of the devices find one of these arrows which will open and close the devices hold alt and click it and it will close all of the devices and if you hold alt and click it again it will open all of the devices here's a little fun easter egg for you the screws on the subtractor can can be unscrewed click and drag up and you can remove the screws speaking of Easter eggs if you have updated your reason 12 to the update that gives you the high resolution graphics then on the redrum you will notice it now has a fan on the back that spins you can use the tool window to expand these notes inside of your piano roll inside of a clip by going to your tool window and choosing explode and hit move and then it will break down each of those MIDI notes into different lanes on your sequencer. If you want to change a patch for an instrument inside of the sequencer, you can hold control or command and press B and it will pull up a browser for that instrument where you can find other other patches for that instrument. Players inside of Reason are very powerful MIDI note generators and you can actually automate many of the parameters inside of players and be able to change those parameters. However, most of the players do not have a lot of CV inputs or outputs and the ones that they do have sometimes are limited. But if you use a combinator and you use the CV in and out, you can then have access to many of the parameters and use them, say for example, with a pulsar in order to create a scales and chords that changes continuously and gives you different chords every time. If you highlight a clip inside of the sequencer and press Control or Command L, it will set a loop point for that specific clip. If you highlight a clip inside of the sequencer and press P, it will do the same thing, except it will then begin to play that section of music. Mixer channels inside of Reason can be bounced independently. You can do this very easily by going to File and clicking Bounce Mixer Channels, and then you can select which mixer channels will be bounced. You can select all mixer channels and it will include the master section as well as the different effect sins that you have. You can hit OK and then you can select where you want those stems to be exported out. And then once you hit OK, it will export the stems for all of those channels. Ever wanted to change the velocity of a specific note without changing the velocity of other notes next to it? Well, you can highlight that specific note and then you can use this very top section to dial in the velocity velocity that you want or you can highlight that note and then when you press shift it will only affect that note when you go to draw it in with your pencil tool. You can do this for as many notes as you would like and as you will see these notes will be affected but these will not. 
Here is one that I wish I knew a long time ago. I always knew that you can hold control and click on the transport window in order to change the left side of your loop and you can hold alt to change the right side of your loop but the end marker I would always have to go down to the end and find it only you don't have to do that just like the loop indicators you can also move the end indicator by holding shift and then selecting a point on the time ruler at the top here's one specifically for redrum if you hold alt while selecting in a note it will place it as a light dynamic velocity if you hold shift it will place it in as a hard dynamic softening and of course by default it's set to medium so you can select that by holding nothing down cool peace